Hello, welcome back. It's the Down the Gamer here, and we're doing some more Civilization Beyond Earth. And we still have the audio problem. Please, if you have any idea, let me know, because I don't have a clue. I think it also started happening in Warframe, so I might need to check that out. Maybe it's got something to do with my computer? Uh, don't know. I'll have to inquire into it. But let's keep going. We're moving on. Civilization. Uh, uh, we have died. And now we've got some explorers heading off probably to their death because they're heading pretty much exactly where the bugs were. So we've changed some of the things into like some of the interface. So I put up the hex grid so we can have a better uh, better understanding of where everything is and how it's laid out. Uh, put up the little food icon stuff so we can get a rough idea and where's a good place to build stuff. Uh, let's see. I believe. Yep. Yeah, so here he is. Probably gonna get attacked. Probably gonna die. Let's see. We'll find out, eh? Not dead yet. So let's see. Where the uh, orange? Not sure what group we're meant to actually be. Like, who are we anyway? Eh, whatever. Okay, so got another virtue. This will give us a free colonist. Mm-hmm. So we could do that. Um This gives us gives us energy. I'm pretty sure our energy is fine at the moment. And that gives us uh more growth um more growth. Health. Yes, that's right. Our health wasn't too good, so maybe I should maybe I should get this one so I can then get to the health. Maybe. What else do we have down here? Production increased. More health. So we got some energy. Got a bunch of things. Yeah, that seems like good stuff. So I think we'll get this one, perhaps. Yeah, so get this one. That'll get us some population growth. So then we'll get the health next turn. We should hopefully help with our negative health at the moment. So we still have the the uh our original satellite. It hasn't gone down yet. But we did find another one, so I try to put it somewhere sort of close to both cities. Alright, so it looks like our explorer hasn't been attacked. Oop. Here we go. Got another update for our quest. Alright, what is it? We've completed our ultrasonic fence. Yep, okay, that's good. At the moment, the fences are static with a reach that goes beyond what we originally predicted. However, if we, reser um, if we reverse the polarity, it will decrease the ultrasonic circumference. Allowing the fence to become mobile. Like a shield. Stick to the original design or embrace the unexpected and create something new. Okay, so if we reverse the polarity, it makes the basically portable shields for our units, I assume. And if we keep it as it is, it protects our cities. 
Well, considering one of my units just died, I think I might go with the portable option. Let's see. Actually, no, let's see what it says. Okay. Trade convoys will not be attacked. Uh huh. Plus one repel range. Hmm. Plus one range. I'll look at that in a break. Let's see. So. One, two. So I think it had two, so then it'd be three. Uh, I think probably better for the. Po I think the portal option is still probably the better option. Trade convoys will not be attacked by aliens. We just got our workers, and actually, that's also our trade, isn't it? A resource pod, alright. So, they've obviously come by sea. So, let's cancel that for now. So, that way, next turn, we can tell them to go get the pod. Uh, looks like a city has grown. Ion, that was our second city. So it looks like these guys have two cities now. Um, the green still only has one. I think purple only has one. So where are they? Um, here they are, over here. Okay, so... Let's see what happens, okay. Can we make it there? Yes, we can. So we got some culture. All right. Another one. Most excellent. Seems they've probably taken some damage from Miasma, by the looks of things. So we got. Oh, that's right. We we built a colonist. Probably a good thing that we didn't do that for the virtue then, because then we would have had two colonists, and I think that's probably a bit too many to start with. Uh, let's see. What's this? Recommend you found an outpost here. Hmm. Before I do that. You recommend I found outpost on top of Miasma. Um, okay. Is that, is that really a good idea? Hmm. Well, they recommend it. I think I was going to put it here. What? I think. I think that's what I was going to do. But I can understand having access to water. I I always find making coast. I I always end up doing coastal cities usually when I can. So I guess we'll do that then. Game better not be screwing with me. Okay, so I have to go around because there's like some sort of chasm. So we got a bunch of bugs which hopefully won't attack. It is a soul. It is one of my uh, military units though, so hopefully they can defend themselves. However, they are only early on units so they probably can't do much alright it rec so we got a trade vessel which lets us trade via the ocean it recommends a worker how many workers do we have? we got like two I think well we're about to make a new outpost so probably wouldn't hurt I love computers because they automate the tedious stuff and give us more time for important things like market manipulation. Mm hmm So that's right, we just researched computers, which was uh one of the quests, I believe. Um so what we got? 
a missile rover, so some ranged units, that's good. Uh, what else we got? Gunboat. Might might be one of those, perhaps. Get, get some um, naval units happening. Spy agency and network, which gives us some science. Cool. Corporation agreement has expired. Uh huh. And that's an update in our quests. So there's the pod. Should be able to get it. Another solar collector. Alright. Where do we want to put this one? It has to be near the cities. Maybe I should wait. I think. Oh, wait, that's right. The other one's gone now. Um, in that case, I'll put it. So let's see, what does it do? It gives us energy, so... City in range also receives energy. Okay, so let's look. Um, we got some energy here. Or would you get plus one energy? Okay, so in that case, maybe we'll put it on tiles that don't have any. Maybe here? Hmm. Let's do it. Alright, so we'll put it there. Yep. So now we got research to do. Actually, before we do that, let me check the quests. So, that's the, uh... That one which requires us to research some stuff before we can do it. That requires us to kill the worm, which probably ain't going to happen anytime soon. Build a spy agency. Alright. So, was it? It's a Xeno Sanctuary building. Right. So, let's go here. We go Xeno. Sanctuary. So it's over here. Alien ethics. Yep. So to get there, we need to research alien sciences and then alien ethics. First of all, let's see what we're getting from this. Okay, Xeno fuel plant. So that will give us some energy. Also, apparently, requires level 2 in Harmony. Our Harmony level is currently 0. So we can't build the fuel plant. Not sure how we level these up. I assume it's just from doing certain things and certain, like, when you make the decisions for those quests. So we got, um, this also requires harmony, gives us some science. Okay, what does this do? Xenomass well. Okay, so that gives us some Xenomass, which apparently is some sort of resource. Okay, so we'll go over that mainly so we can get over to here. Uh, let's see, where's our guy? Over here. We'll keep an eye on the soldier for the moment. City connection established. Okay. So now they've got like a road or something to put, um, connected them. So have them go explore and now there's not really much to do. Um, our colonist is still on his way. I'm hoping building an outpost on top of Miasma isn't going to be a bad thing. We'll find out. Okay, worker. That's right, we just we built a worker, didn't we? Um, 
you can just go ahead and build improvements. Looks like we have another quest decision. First up though. Okay. I think we'll build a spy agency because I believe, if I remember, one of the quests had us to build that. So let's build a spy agency. Okay, we got a quest decision. A scientist working at our vivarium has made a profound discovery. The xenocyte cultures she has developed have unique reactions to tissue from Earth organisms, and she claims they could be used to make Earth alien hybrid organs. Hybrids, huh? That's never a good idea. Like that new, uh, was it Jurassic World, was it? That that movie sounds a bit. I don't know. I think I think fans of like the original might not necessarily be happy with it. Uh, I, th I, to be honest, I can't really remember the, any of the Jurassic Park movies anymore, so I don't really think I'd mind. Just as long as it's not too out there. If you're making a sciency fiction kind of movie, it helps if it's actually a little bit believable. So anyway, her colleagues condemn her work as dangerous and unethical. Meddling in alien biology before we fully understand the consequences, they are threatening to shut down the project. Shut the project down. So what does this do? It gives us science, gives us food. Hmm. Okay, let me quickly see how our food and science is going. So at the moment we are getting plus 12, 12 science. Let's check our cities. So how's the food going? So what's that? 3.12? So food is in the positive, it would seem. At least for this city. And this city is doing quite well for food. So food seems to be fine. So I think we'll go with the science option, I guess. Alright, so we got some science. Okay, our colonists will probably get... Okay, so next... Oh, oh god. There's the worm. Uh, Mr. Worm is back and he might end up killing my colonist. And there goes our explorer. Bye bye, explorer. It took longer than I expected for him to die, but nevertheless, he did die. Yep, so the colonist has taken some damage. My only question is, does the city take damage if it's on Miasma? Hopefully not, because I'm about to build it. So we can just press B if we want to build it. You better not die on me. So our health still not that great. But I think with the next virtue we should be able to get some more health. Alright, iron has grown in population. That's good. Looks like the green guys finally have another place. We're either going to be friends, but more than likely we're probably going to end up killing each other. Hopefully it'll be me killing him. So we got our little bugs there. We'll keep keep watch here for now. Make sure that siege worm doesn't kill us. I'm fairly confident they won't attack us. 
But then, again, I thought the bugs wouldn't actually attack. And then they did. And now they've killed two of my guys. So, I have a feeling that at some stage, that Siege Worm is probably going to attack us. But, hopefully, that won't be for a while. Hopefully, we'll have better military by then. I probably should look at military a little bit more. I haven't really been doing it. Another station, apparently. That's fairly far away. Well, actually, is it? Mm, it's not too far away, actually. Then again, uh, this is a small map from what I remember. From If I remember correctly, I think it's a small map. I chose random, but then when I was loading the game one time, I believe it said it was a small map. So we have six people, six civilizations. Seems like three of us are fairly close together. Okay, so it looks like our city, our, our outpost is nearly a city. Cooperation agreement, sure. Why not? Friendly. You share the same approach. Mm-hmm. We're going to achieve have covert apparently. agents available. The machineries of joy cities to perform covert operations I or to your don't own know to what protect that yourself is. against enemy agents. Oh, maybe it's because I bought um I built that spy agency. That might have been why. <clears throat> so, you now have a covert agents available. Assign them to other faction cities. Or you can put them to your own. Yep. So, I already, I already know how that works. That's basically the same. Pardon me. I may be able to assist you. Covert options shows you the location, operational status of each covert agent. Mm -hmm. So this is all basically the same as Civilization Five, with the uh, spies and stuff. So okay. So what we got here? Apparently we can choose some sort of thing. Operations reconnaissance increases the chance of operation success for each agent in headquarters. Operation support lowers the risk to covert agents doing operations for each agent in headquarters. Plus two health for each agent. Plus one production for wonders. City strength, city hit points. Hmm. So we got increase the chance of operation success, lowers the risk. Mm hmm. Maybe we'll go with this one. I think now, I think we'll do that. Okay, so it looks like we've got a bun we got we got some we got three guys. So now we need to assign them So I could have them on my own base to like stop other spies. Or I can have them go out. So I think I'll have one. So I think it's it's probably too early on. Like in Civ Five, um, there'd be like a five star rating on how likely, like the higher the stars, the more likely you're probably gonna get someone spying on that city. So at the moment, it seems that it doesn't show any of that, probably because it's early on. I'm gonna put one in Megan because that's my capital. So we'll assign him there. So who's this one? Sidadella. 
So we'll go to that. And now we have one more. Um, I think maybe central. Let's see, the people that we're friends with, I'm pretty sure, are these ones up here. Hmm, actually, I might go with this group because they're pretty close. So let's go with them. Okay, so now we've got our three people doing stuff and they'll keep doing that. I'm not sure what this is. I think this is... I think this produces more spies, maybe. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, so it looks like we have another virtue, I think, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, so we've got a uh, production we can do. What does the network do? Gives us some science. Gunboat. Range strength of 16. So it's good for ranged attacks, obviously. But I think I'll just continue just building buildings. Okay, we can do the virtue now. Our health definitely could use a boost, so let's do that. And then what we have? We have energy from population from any population acting as a specialist. Production. Uh, production's always useful, I suppose. And then it also gives us health there. So we could go like that, that, then. We'll, we'll see. Okay, so that seems to be all. Actually, before we do that, we have another research pod. I mean, resource. Not research. Uh, we got another resource pod. So we will get them to do that next time. Okay, so go do it. Got some culture. That's always good, I guess. Is there anything else around here? Just like a little random island. Could probably keep that in mind. We could probably set up like some sort of base there if we need to. So now we're just waiting for everyone to go. Just have them go explore. Let's go back over here. Okay, so it looks like it's still an outpost at the moment. Hopefully my workers will end up working their way over there. I also realized that the station is no longer there. When did that happen? Obviously wasn't paying attention. Maybe they relocate. Because, like, Firebase 1, I'm pretty sure that was somewhere else before... And now it's here. So it looks like they it looks like the stations relocate. So we still got thirteen turns for the research. So excuse me, I have important information for you. Covert agents in the field which are currently idle. Assign them to do covert operations in covert. <clears throat> in the covert ops panel. Let's open the panel. Right, so. Establish network. So what we got here? Establish the agent's operational network and gather additional information about the city. The higher the agent's rank, the more information is provided. Once established, the network remains until the agent leaves the city or is killed. 
So it looks like we can't do any of these things because they, because the, yeah. So the city isn't level up enough. So. So we can steal energy from the city. Eh, I don't know. I don't think we need to steal energy. Let's just get some information on them for now. Alright, so what about this guy? Probably just do the same thing. Yep, so let's just get information. Oh, I see, so... This is something we can change. Okay, so we can get rid of that. Yep, so now our guys are all in position. We've got our counter operative here. And we got our two operatives um, here and over there. Alright. I have something that needs your attention. You may now build trade units and conduct... Yep. Yeah. Okay, man. It seems to keep telling me this a lot, that I can make trade units. I tried doing that before. I tried making a trade route to one of these. But for some reason, it wouldn't do it. I thought maybe the miasma was like blocking the trade route, maybe. And that's possible, I guess. African Union. Okay, so that's who we are. We are the Africans. So I don't know if I can change this trade um the trade route for this guy. Um. Oh, we got some production. Uh, okay, so what do we just build? I'm not sure what we just built. So we got a bunch of things we can build now. Um, Vivarium gives us food. Network gives us science. Clinic gives us health. Clinic is probably what we want, I'd say, because our health's actually not that good right now. So let's build some clinic. Okay, looks like our Thabo is now a city. Probably should build this first. Seems to be quite a useful thing to have. Or maybe I should get the health happening. Yeah, I'll get the health happening first and then we'll do the trade depot. Yeah, alright. How do I unclick this guy? Eh. Maybe if I click somewhere else, like here. Okay, fine, whatever. Um. Okay, that'll be it for today. We've got ourselves the third city up and going. Should be able to connect them in a little bit. Anyway, thanks for watching. Once again, I apologize about the little audio buzzing. I'll have to try and see what causes it. If I can do anything about it. And if you know if you have any ideas on what could be causing it then don't then uh feel free to let me know in the comments. But anyway, um thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought of the video with a like or a comment. If you want to see more videos, you can check my channel or you can hit the subscribe button.
You can also check me out on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description. And until next time, I'm the Down on the Gamer, and I'll see you then.